Hey everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Mo Mondays. In this week's episode, we are going to be talking about the Pro Portal and more specifically the reporting tab where you can see reports and insights. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the portal. As always, it is uh, portal.rooms.microsoft.com to get straight into the portal. Um, and here you will see my homepage. Of course, we are going to move towards the left-hand side uh, and move straight over onto reports. Now, the reporting page here on the Pro Portal is a really, really good page for you to get the overall health of all of your devices sitting on the network on that, that is enrolled on the Pro Portal. Um, so the first thing that you'll notice is, of course, we have the Overview tab uh, and a bunch of boxes. So we have uh, a box around tickets by category, health, least reliable rooms, and most re reliable rooms. Let's start off here with tickets by category. Now, Microsoft make it really useful and really simple to use. Um, straight away, at a glance, I'm able to see I have 24 um, tickets. Uh, that are currently generated uh, uh, on, on my portal. Uh, 18 of them are because of connectivity. Four of them are to do with hardware and peripherals and two to do with display. The good thing is, is you can actually go ahead and click on one of these rings. And when you click on, uh, on the area, it will bring up all four of those tickets that have been raised. So straight away, you're able to see on your network, what are the most common issues that are arising in terms of kind of the buckets that they sit in, whether it's connectivity or hardware peripherals, et cetera. We'll take this one as an example. We have um, a device, a uh, uh, MTR of Windows. I can see there's a severity warning going on, but it's been resolved as well. If I want to see what the information is, I would simply go ahead and hit the support ticket across here. Straight away, I'm told the description. This signal is triggered when the USB peripheral power drain is enabled under Windows settings. Okay, might not make so much sense for me. If it doesn't, simply move ahead at the top towards notes, and then you get all the information that you need. So you can see here, August 8th at 10.56 a.m., the AI on the MTR uh, detected a USB misconfiguration, okay? Um, so this configuration is typically caused by default power settings on a Windows device, blah, blah, blah. You get more information down here, so you can easily go ahead and hit the link, uh, and it'll open up the page for you. So that was submitted, or that was detected, should I say, at 10.56. At 11 a.m., a, remedi a remediation to disable the uh, power draining option and the windows has been submitted to the MTR and should complete in the next few minutes. And then 11 o'clock, it was already fixed and they successfully disabled it. The ticket's now being closed. So this just gives you a great example of, uh, of the advantages of the pro license. System detects an issue, it sends out remediation, it updates the ticket and it closes the ticket for you, but it records it so you know ah, this was a problem and this will happen. Of course, if I decide to go ahead and open maybe one of the other ones. So Vincent Dahl, who you may know, uh, is one of my colleagues, uh, and uh, this is his tenant, and he loves tinkering with all of his devices, which is why you'll notice that this particular tenant, this particular pro portal, doesn't have the best of health. Uh, it's because we're constantly messing about with devices here. However, Vincent decided to take a holiday, and because he took a holiday, all his devices were off, and it just sent, up a, sent out a whole bunch of different tickets. So this is the reason why you're seeing uh, a whole bunch of different critical tickets popping up. But again, another example, I can go ahead, open the support ticket across here, see the notes. And in this one, it just says, hey, the service is unable to communicate. We know why. It's because the systems are, are switched off across there. But, you know, in a nutshell, this particular tickets by category is a really good way to see the overall health of um, your tenant. Now, if you move over here onto the right-hand side, uh, Microsoft actually do a comparison of your rooms uh, on your tenant versus all customers globally. So we see the average health of all customers globally sitting up here for around 80, 82%, 83%. And then we see my rooms and how healthy they are. And they go up and down, and that's because we're constantly testing devices, turning things on and off and breaking stuff and things. But you can see how we compare with everybody else out there in terms of all customers. So again, a good way to do a, a comparison with the globe. A couple of my personal favorites are these ones down here. So we have most reliable rooms and then least reliable rooms as well. So, you know, hey, no surprises here, man. Mo Khalifa's office is the most reliable room. 100% uh, health, no impact in meetings, but then Vincent's devices, they are the, um, the most affected. So five days average ticket duration for that particular machine. Uh, his health is around 46% and impacts about 10 meetings. Now, what we can do is we can actually go ahead and click on that and it will give us more information. 
So you can see how many active tickets they are. The system's already kind of worked out here. He's offline, which is why it's closed the ticket. So it raises the ticket then. We've got tickets active across here. Uh, it'll tell you how many new tickets have been raised or how many uh, 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 existing tickets are across there. The average ticket duration, how healthy it is, and the meeting impact as well. So this is a good way to see how many uh, meetings did it impact. Um, and, and in this case, it's probably um, meetings were, uh, sorry, the MTRs were invited into this meeting, but obviously the MTRs were switched off. So it impacted these meetings across here. Uh, we can also go ahead and check the settings. So on this particular X, uh, X52 device, we can see all the all the settings, you know, if the screen sharing is switched on and content cameras, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, on a Windows device, you get more signals pop up as well. This particular one is an Android one. Uh, and another new feature from Microsoft, which uh, is quite useful as well, is nearby. This one actually see uses metrics from other rooms that are within a hundred meter radius. Uh, so again, it's a good way to check whether that particular area of the building are having the same types of issues or you know if it's completely standalone. So you know some, some really good insights that sit across here as well. Uh, rooms history. So rooms history is just the number of rooms, how many are monitored and how many are healthy across the top. Now you do have the ability to export tickets. Um, so you can export all of this information in a Excel format uh, and individual tickets generally come out in a JSON format. Uh, but with the export tickets button, you can export them uh, and have a whole list of them um, for you to digest later on. Now, let's move straight over onto the health tab across here. So the health tab will then start drilling down per device per room. Um, so you, if I wanted to go ahead and select this G7500 as an example. Um, so if I click that one there, it then opens up more information. Again, I can see the average health, the ticket duration, the meeting impacts, um, the settings, all of that information pops up. But where it gets even more useful for me is the next tab, which is usage. If you hit that usage button here, again, it looks very similar, but you've got more insights running across the top. So we can see how many rooms we currently have on the system, how many of them have been utilized, how many scheduled meetings, how many online meetings, how many calls, Call performance and even down to projections how many times we're projecting on here now where this becomes really really useful is let's say for example i click this device across there i can see the utilization and the call performance and if i move down here at the bottom we can see that we actually have good audio quality unfortunately i don't have a poor audio quality one to show you but let me show you the the good version um, i can actually go ahead and hit that button there and it will give me even more information about that room. So the call quality was good. It was a conference. There were one participant in there. Uh, and then if I decide to hit that one there, it then starts giving me more information of things like jitter, packet lost, you know, the network type, uh, the audio devices that were used, et cetera, et cetera. All of that information then starts popping up. You do have the ability to move into the Teams admin center here, uh, across here for un anonymized data. Um, I believe I have done a video already which shows you a call breakdown of how you can actually figure out you know, what the issue was, where the issue came from, and you'd use Teams Admin Center for that. So you get a real handy link, uh, which enables you to jump straight into Teams Admin Center and then pick up more information about that particular device. So again, this report page is a really, really good page. Again, we've got the nearby rooms, if there was a nearby room, you know, how, uh, if there's any issues going on across there as well. Let's pick a um, Windows uh, PC. So if I pick a Windows PC, you'll see, you'll start seeing more insights come across. So again, with nearby, no nearby rooms, but if I hit settings here, I then start seeing exactly what is connected uh, to this particular device, all of these settings start popping up. So yes, you know, it's just a limitation of Android, unfortunately, there's only so much uh, data that we can pull off um, of MTR and Android devices, but on Windows, there's a lot more we can pull. Uh, so you get to uh, uh, see more information so you can do deeper dives. Okay, last tab across the top. This one is really, really useful, especially if you want to see ROI. So many times when we sell or talk to our customers about uh, the pro portal and we're talking about the advantages for pro portal yes there's many advantages for having a pro license of obviously to use all the great features that come from uh, the team's rooms team uh, on mtr devices but more importantly you know the biggest advantage using the pro license is this is the pro management portal where you have that ai that awesome microsoft ai that goes in and auto remediates any issues that the system may detect on there now the good thing that i absolutely love about this page is this is your page that you can show to the powers that be to show where you get your ROI. 
your return on investment. So you can see across here, 21 actions were completed, you know, how efficient um, uh, the actions were, um, how many meeting issues were prevented. So we found and fixed technical issues, 23 incidents remediated. So 23 of them were automatically done either by Microsoft or your IT team or the money service provider, you know, how many updates were run. But down here is one of my favorite parts. This bit now shows you estimated savings. So we have saved nine and just so just under nine and a half hours of it time which roughly equates to about 470 dollars again a really good way to pull out reports to show to the powers that maybe you know maybe it's the finance department or whoever is paying for uh, the pro licenses or how much time is actually saved um and how much money is actually saved with the pro portal doing what it does best uh, by monitoring and fixing any uh, any issues that you see across here so again the insights page is amazing. Uh, you can see all what's detected, what's remediated, how many updates, and you can click them and you know do uh, some awesome things as well. Um, so there you go. The reporting page, very very easy to use. Make sure, you know it looks very simple when you when you uh, glance at it at the very beginning. But remember, everything is clickable. When you click it, that's when you start drilling into deep deeper detail about the devices. But it's a very good way for you to get an overall health of your estate and also to kind of bring in that ROI um, to talk about with the powers that may be on how much money you're actually saving uh, using the pro portal across here. Right then, guys. Well, thank you so much. That's this week's episode completed. I will hopefully see you in the next week or so. Uh, go and enjoy the the final week. As far as I'm aware, pretty much all the kids are going back to school, so it is going to be fun. But with that in mind, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And no doubt, I shall see you next time. Ciao.